This morning we finish uh, the Olivet Discourse, really Matthew 24 and 25, um, where Jesus lays out um, the future. Matthew 24, um, three questions are asked um, again. Uh, when will the temple be destroyed? When you will you return, second coming? And uh, when is the end of the age? Uh, as we move into Matthew 25, uh, Jesus talks about um, uh, two parables. He talks about the parable of the uh, ten virgins, uh, which is a, an image of the rapture, where, um, or at least the home going of saints, uh, those who are ready and prepared, uh, the wise virgins who are waiting for their master to return for his bride, um, the five who are foolish, uh, who do not get to enter the kingdom. Uh, the next parable, the parable of the talents, is more of a parable about believers who uh, God expects us to work uh, and uh, do things for the kingdom. And two of the servants do quite well, one not so much. Um, and that kind of leads us to the end of the chapter, which is what takes place after the millennial reign of Christ for a thousand years on earth and uh, the final judgment. So here's what uh, it says, starting in verse 31, Matthew 25. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. And then uh, before him all nations will be gathered, and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on his left, and then the king will say, to those on the right, come, you are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, you gave me food, I was thirsty, you gave me drink, I was a stranger, you welcomed me. I was naked, you clothed me, I was sick and you visited me, I was in prison and you came to me. And then the righteous will say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When do we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. And then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you cursed, into eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, you did not welcome me. Naked, you did not clothe me sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. And then they will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister to you? And then he will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it not, uh, you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did it not for me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. So this passage is clearly uh, talking about um, the, the final judgment. Uh, in Revelation 20, uh, verses 14 and 15, it says, uh, There will be a great white throne judgment, and everyone will be gathered, and the books will be opened. Uh, and of course, uh, one of those being the book of life. And it says that everyone whose name is not written in the book of life uh, will be uh, thrown into uh, the lake of fire. And those whose names are written in the book of life, which in Matthew 25 would be the sheep, uh, metaphorically, uh, they will enter into the joy of their Lord for all eternity. Daniel 12, verses 1 and 2, um, says, Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So again, a, a reference uh, to the final judgment, which takes place at the end of time as we know it, uh, prior to the new heavens and the new earth. Um, so that's how Jesus ends this discourse. And so he does uh, answer uh, in, uh, those three questions. He just kind of doesn't do it in any defined order, although he summarizes everything um, with Matthew 25, 31, uh, down uh, to uh, verse uh, 46, or, or the end of the chapter. And um, the final judgment, um, this is what we are uh, need to be prepared for. Um, in God's economy, there are either those who follow him or those who don't. And those who don't uh, will suffer everlasting judgment, uh, and those who do follow him. And uh, he's watching, and he knows who has trusted Christ 
And if we trust Jesus as our Savior, we ask him to forgive our sin. We repent of our sin and we strive to follow him. Um, he says that he will come in and, and sup with us and so on. Revelation 3, uh, 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone open the door uh, and hears my voice, uh, I will come in and sup with them and they with me. So it's all about being ready. Uh, that's what Matthew 25 is. The virgins were not ready. Even those who knew the Lord, uh, the master came back and some of them uh, were not ready. The one buried the talent was not ready. Matthew 25, um, there'll be a final judgment and um, we need to be ready for that. So um, I hope to see you this weekend at either the fair or at worship. Remember at the 11 o'clock service, we have uh, the kids chapel for uh, children, uh, roughly, uh, you know, age four or five up to grade six. And uh, uh, we have youth group on Wednesdays, although uh, they'll be uh, wrapping things up here in about four weeks for the summer. But um, we invite you to become a part of our fellowship and grow with us. Let's pray. Father, uh, may we heed uh, the scriptures here in Matthew 24 and 5. I pray that all listening to this are prepared and ready, that they know Christ as Savior and their hope and trust is in you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I hope to see you again. Bye now.